So here on my smartphone, I've launched the Transform application and I've entered my username and password. Now, as I showed you before, I happen to have multiple accounts. So to begin, I need to indicate which account I'm using. You'll probably not have to make that choice because you likely just have one account. Okay, now that I'm logged in, I'm presented with an interface that has two tabs, existing forms and add form. Existing forms are forms that we've already filled out, but since this is new, we'll click add form. And you'll see that Transform has found the equipment inspection form we created. Now, before we go any further, I'd like to point out that you can find help by clicking on the question mark here at the top right. And one page in particular you might want to look at is the form details screen. But for now, let's keep going with the tutorial by clicking on the equipment inspection form template. When we do that, the Transform app opens a new blank copy of the equipment inspection form. And here it is. Now, let's fill out the form by tapping on the first field, which is Equipment ID. When we do, an editor slides into place. To use it, we'll tap the line at the top, and then we'll type in the equipment number. Let's say it's A123. Okay, with that done, we have a few choices. We can click the checkmark button to save our entry and go back to the form, or we can use these arrow keys to move to the next or previous field on the form. You can also click the X button to cancel out and not save what you just typed in. We're going to click the checkmark button to return. Now let's tap on the Type of Equipment field to slide in its editor. And here's our list of equipment types. I'm going to choose Power Supply, and again I'll hit the checkmark to go back. Now let's assume that we inspected this power supply and we found that it works. So we'll click the Yes link. Now the next field is a Location field, which we'll tap, and again its editor will slide in. Using this editor is pretty easy. You just click the Get Location button. It takes a little bit of time to get an accurate reading. And when it's done, it pops up a location on a map. Unless you don't have Wi-Fi or self-service, in which case the map won't appear. But don't worry, it's still accurately collecting the GPS coordinates, and the map will appear when you get signal again. Okay, like we did before, we'll click the checkmark button to return to the form. Now we'll click the Equipment Photo field. This one works a bit differently. Instead of sliding in an editor, it opens your camera so you can take a picture. Let's do that. Once the photo is snapped, I'm asked if I want to use the photo or retake it. We'll use it, and like before, we'll click the check mark to save our entry. And now we're back on the form, and on the last field, the signature field. So again, we'll tap the field, and this time a signature editor opens. And you could use your finger to sign the screen. When you're done, click the check mark to exit. And when we return to the screen, you'll notice that not only has the signature been captured, but we also captured the date and time of when the signature was captured. Okay, so we filled out the fields. Now let's click Done and go back to the list of forms. If you'll notice, we're now on the Existing Forms tab rather than the Add Form tab, and the form we filled out appears here in the list, along with a date and time stamp. Now, if we decided to go back and make changes or add additional information, we could do that by double tapping on the form. Tap, tap. So we filled out the form and all of the data is saved on the phone. Now it's time to upload the data so we could see it in Transform Central. Before we do, let's take a look at the blue line next to the form. This tells us the form hasn't yet been saved to the Transform Cloud. So now we'll click the Upload button, and in a few seconds, the blue lines have gone away, indicating that the changes are now updated. So let's take a look.